Hi everyone! We have talked about three different communication styles so far. We talked about passive communication, when people don't always express their opinions, they go with the flow, they don't say what they really think or need or feel. We have talked about passive aggressive communication, when somebody says that they're okay or that they agree or they say yes in the moment, but really deep down they don't like what's happening or they feel something different um, and so then that can lead them to be angry later and then we talked about aggressive communication and that's when somebody says very forcefully what they think and feel and want and sometimes that can come across as rude or hurtful okay so we talked about three different styles today we will talk about a new style of communication called assertive communication. Assertive communication. In assertive communication, people say what they think or feel or need, but in a respectful way. So they don't avoid talking about what they think and feel, but, and they don't say it in a mean way either. Okay, so it's kind of in the middle between some of the other styles of communication. So when you are an assertive communicator, you can give an opinion or say how you feel. You ask for what you need or want. You disagree respectfully. You can offer your ideas and suggestions. You can say no without feeling guilty, and you can speak up for someone else. Okay, so it's, it's a very good thing to be able to communicate assertively and be respectful while still saying what you think and, and feel and need. So we talked about some problems with each communication style, right? We know that if your style is passive, Maybe people will think that you're okay with things that you're not okay with, right? Maybe you will seem to be shy or overly easygoing. You don't have opinions. Um, if you have an aggressive communication style, maybe people think you're a bully who doesn't care about the needs and feelings and opinions of other people. If you have a passive aggressive style, um, you may say yes when you want to say no, and then you may show your anger about that through your actions later in a way that's confusing to other people. But if you're assertive, um, you know, then you can really express what you want to express while still showing respect for others. Let's look at some examples here. This is what you will do for your assignment today. So here is a situation. There are four situations, one, two, three, four. And here on the other side is what an assertive communicator would say. So for example, we looked at the example last time of somebody stealing SpongeBob's ice cream cone. Do you remember that? And SpongeBob just says, you can have it. He's a very passive communicator. He just sort of lets him take his ice cream. But Plankton is very aggressive and he says, hey, give back that ice cream cone and he yells at him, right? And the guy starts crying. So those are two very opposite styles of communication. What would an assertive communicator say in that same situation? Maybe they would say something like, excuse me, that's my ice cream cone. Please give it back to me. So do you see how this shows respect you know, it's polite. It says, please give it back. Excuse me. But at the same time, it's expressing that what the person wants, which is they want their ice cream cone back. So what you're going to do is you're going to read these examples. They're in English and Spanish, and you're going to write what an assertive communicator would say. You and your friends want to watch a movie. One friend asks you, which movie do you want to watch? You know, maybe a passive communicator would say, oh, I don't care. 